Have you ever wondered how your elevator trim works back in the tail? Well, this is the way that mine looked, and it was not in great shape. It wouldn't even turn. This is its normal position in the fuselage. So here it is, a little bit closer up. The real fun is getting the pulley out and the cable. So I want to do a little video on the elevator trim. Uh, I've got a Stenson 108 with a 150, so it's just elevator, not elevator and rudder. But I had to dig into this thing because it was frozen up and there is a shaft here that runs all the way down through this pulley. Now, the pulley is actually, number one, the thing that keeps the trim cable in the pulley here, and then there's a cotter pin that goes over here that keeps the pulley, uh, or keeps the cable in the pulley. I've got that out right now because I was taking it apart. So underneath the pulley, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, there is a screw, and then if you roll the pulley around, there's another screw. Now the interesting thing is this shaft goes all the way through the pulley into this side here. And this is where your cable comes in. So this is the end that goes into the trim system. This is the end that goes out to the uh, elevator. Now, the you can't see it again for the lighting, but inside of this, this shaft has a square hole that this more or less the speedometer cable goes into. The only thing that's tricky is the screws, I don't have the shaft out, but the shaft goes through the pulley and it actually has holes in it that these screws go through. So the screws lock the pulley to the shaft, but also when you insert this square tip um, into uh, the shaft, those screws are gonna go through all the way and they're gonna pinch this shaft right here and lock it all together. So if you ever need to take one of these apart, you'll kinda know, I took it apart, uh, bead blasted uh, all of this, cleaned everything, polished, re-greased, so everything should be good to go. But just in case you ever need to take apart your elevator trim, that's how it works. Okay, so now I have put the cable in with the square end into that shaft, and then I tightened, boy, the lighting is terrible, tighten these two screws, and remember they go through the shaft and they lock the uh, speedometer cable, if you will, in. So uh, those two screws are tight, holding the cable, and then this bolt and this clamp is actually holding the outer uh, case of that cable. So that's in. Uh, then I put the cotter pin in. I haven't bent the tabs yet. So this holds that side of the cable from coming out of the pulley and then the housing holds this side of the cable from coming out of the pulley. Then the very last piece is this. There's two stop nuts down here, two stop nuts up here, and this plate. Now this post right here is not threaded, so there's an open hole there, but there is a threaded hole in this plate on this side. So what you do is these are off. You take this tab and you start threading it down, making sure that this hole goes over this post. This is your up and down uh, limits. So, you know, when you turn the crank all the way in one way and it stops, it's hitting the limit here. Turn the crank all the way the other way, it hits the stops, and that's it. So I'm just going to leave this in the neutral place until we get to uh, figuring out, you know, putting on the elevator and adjusting all that. But that's how the elevator trim works. And uh, hopefully if you ever have to work on this, this little video helps. And this is mine all installed on the fuselage, looking good. I hope this video helped, and you can always follow my blog at november97954.org.